Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. And uh, today we got a juicy one. We got some <clears throat> interesting stuff going on in uh, the news. So recently we just had this story come out. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband cashed in on big tech just as Congress was set to pounce. Okay, so basically what happened down here is that um, she looks a little crazy there. Um, when doesn't she? Anyways, uh, we're not going to talk about that. Basically, what happened was uh, she bought a bunch of Alphabet shares. She bought a bunch of Google shares, or rather her husband did. And it was uh, very timely, right? So as we know, like big tech has been doing very, very well. I mean, this whole pandemic has created a an environment where these companies can... I mean, think about... You can't really imagine a better environment for these tech companies. You're having everybody stay home, right? You're pumping a bunch of money into unemployment, you're making it more attractive to stay home, you're uh, making it attractive to work from home, you're making it so that you can get paid a lot more by staying home than by going back to your job with your mom and pop employer, right? So all of these things are very helpful for people like Google, like Amazon, like Apple. You can still get on your phone, you can still get on Facebook, you can still order things on Amazon, you can still look things up on Google. Basically, uh, my, my thing is with all of these videos is it's never to say, oh, you should vote for the left or you should vote for the right. It's basically to say you should vote for yourself. OK, so Pelosi, we need to put more money in the pockets of the American people. So let's talk a little bit about that. Where does the money end up after it ends up in the pockets of the American people? If you give somebody just enough money to buy food or you give people just enough money so that they can just get by, where does it end up? It ends up with these people. So let's let's talk about this. Uh, Paul Pelosi just bought 4,000 shares of Alphabet on June 18th, as revealed in financial disclosure. We'll get into how the laws around this work. And uh, it was filed on July 2nd. So he made an initial gain of $4.8 million from Alphabet rising in share price and has seen a gain, his gain grow to $5.3 million. Okay, so... Basically, my, my point in showing people this is that these people, they're not here to save you. They're not going to save you, okay? So whether people do or don't have good intentions, I, I'm just trying to let you guys know these people aren't going to save you. you got to save yourself. So, yeah, Paul Pelosi reported buying call options for Amazon, Apple, and NVIDIA. So call options are basically betting on the direction of a stock price. So that's a little bit even more suspicious than than just buying into the company, right? These are great companies. You could buy into the companies, but call options when we're at all-time market highs, that is a little bit suspicious, okay? So let's go into this next thing. So there's a history of a problem with basically this insider trading. We'll talk about the stock act a little bit in the uh, next slide over here, uh, next tab rather. So over time, Congress... Uh, the, the Senate, rather, has outperformed the broader market by 12% from the year 1993 to the year 1998. This is in a 2010 University of California study. So I want to show you guys how significant that actually is. So I went in and I calculated, based on uh, senator or people in the House, rather, make $174,000 a year. So I just assumed that you could put in $10,000 into your investments if you live frugally and you increased your income over time. I assume that you didn't actually increase how much you're investing over time, which you probably would. Uh, but let's see what the difference is. Okay, so if we just assume 10% based on starting at age uh, 25 and working until age 60, so that's a 35 year career, career politician, you get over here and you've got $32 million. You're retiring with $32 million. Okay, so that's a pretty good retirement. If you assume that they get a 12% better return, you've got $574 million. So let's, uh, let's go over here to Nancy Pelosi's net worth. Okay, Nancy Pelosi's net worth, $114.7 million. Okay, we're seeing a little bit of a correlation there, right? Because during that 1993 to 1998 time period when senators were outperforming and politicians are outperforming, that was a time when uh, Nancy Pelosi was in office. So Nancy Pelosi has been in office for 34 years. So it looks pretty similar. You know, maybe she over or she spent more than what I was assuming. She didn't put in 10K into her investments or maybe she got uh, what's up, Todd. Todd's in the video now. Um, I was just asking him if uh, if I could go see how he runs his numbers for rental properties. So that's have good friends. People have good friends. Uh, shout out to Todd Baldwin. Let me plug his channel right here. We already said Nancy Pelosi net worth. 
And uh, okay, yeah, so here's some some uh, tools for you guys. Congress trading. Congress trading basically shows you what the Congress members are doing. This one is actually a paid service. This is where I found out about all this stuff in the first place. I don't actually pay for this, but if anybody wants to pay for this and join the Facebook group, Facebook group description is down in the description, by the way. Please post those trades. Uh, but I did find one where you can track senators. So you can go over here. You can go uh, summary by day. So we're in the daily summary right now. It looks like Patrick Toomey's over here making some moves. Or we can go summary by senator. So you can go in here. Uh, let's go into, I don't want to go into Patrick Toomey. We were just there. I don't know. Let's go into Tina or Susan. These people have very generic names. Let's see what Susan's doing. What are you bullish on, Susan? Susan is buying, I don't recognize any of these. Looks like they're, she's going into some, oh, Exxon Mobil, Enbridge, Energy, uh, Starbucks. Susan likes Starbucks. That's a long time ago, though. Susan hasn't been making very many. What is this? What is Susan buying? Executed by spouse. Bank bond. Oh, buying munis. Buying higher education. Anyways, you can go in and see what they're buying. Let's see if we can find anything interesting over here. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's go into Tina. What are you buying, Tina? P-O-D-D. -D. I really don't recognize these people. Is this... Abbott, is this Abbott Laboratories? Okay. Anyways, you can go in here. You can see what these senators are buying. Uh, I, this is this is unscripted, but uh, let's go on to the next thing. This is uh, Stock Act. So this is by Barack Obama. He introduced this in April fourth, uh, two thousand twelve. The law prohibits the use of non-public information for private profit. So before we get too too ahead of ourselves, you know, you don't want to be a a person who basically caters to your your message, your your agenda, right? I don't want to give a one-sided story. There is this stock, <clears throat> stock act, so this was put in, into act by Congress, and it's supposed to stop things like uh, what we're possibly seeing with Nancy Pelosi's husband. But uh, yeah, well, that that is the law, and this is legal. So we'll see how that plays out. But one thing I did want to do before we close out the video is that you know your alternative um, for politicians are people like. You know, Mitch McConnell or on the other side, we've got Mitch McConnell. I don't know if you are going to know this, but he's got ties to uh, very high, basically ties to the CCP, right? His his uh, wife, Mrs. Chow, they have a history of basically, I don't want to say colluding because then we get into the whole Russia situation. Basically, they have ties to uh, the Chinese party. OK, so my point with all of this and all of this video is I think that. People should learn to vote for themselves. Give yourself the vote of confidence because um, I don't know what's going to shake out with all this, but it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. So anyways, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy these uh, these resources. You guys can go in and see what your senators are buying. I saw that uh, a lot of people are buying smaller companies, so it's interesting. Maybe that's a good source of just like data for new up-and-coming companies, companies that who knows. Maybe they're getting some type of a uh, regulatory bump. You never know. It could could up your your investment game. So hopefully that you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Always got the links down in the description. If you want to help the channel out, help me get some free money. Help yourself get some free money, and I'll see you guys in the next video.